the, the um, involvement of Russia, you mentioned uh, Putin, what is his ultimate goal? He is now at the head table on the Syrian peace negotiations. That's where Putin wants to be. Putin wants to be at the head table. And my belief is if we will constrain him by our own active diplomacy, by our military deploy deployments, if we will constrain him, we can bound his aspirations. So you mentioned, you mentioned uh, the Iran nuclear agreement, yep. which of course a lot of people are not in favor of, a lot of people are. Um, the question that I have is how good an agreement is it actually? For me, the bottom line became, is it better to live with a deal that isn't a great deal? Is it better to live with a deal, or is it better to walk away from it? And what are the consequences in each? And I would argue that probably the better course probably is, despite enormous reservations I have about the deal, I could never see how America's position was better if we walked away from it than if we stayed in the deal, tried to make sure the Iranians respected it, and then developed a policy around the nuclear deal to deal with other aspects of Iranian behavior. With what happened in Brussels uh, recently, to, um, to what extent do you think that ISIS is driving to upset or to undo the EU as we know it today? So I think there is a real risk that, that, that Europe and the EU will, will come apart. And that's a problem for the United States in so many ways. We have economic interests, historical ties, and all the rest. But it's a real problem because if you think about what happened after the end of the Second World War, the United <coughs> States and Europe basically founded an international order based on freedom, free markets, democracy, a variety of alliances and institutions that sustain that order. And um, Europe has been our partner in maintaining that order. Isn't it time for uh, the European allies to assume more responsibility, to raise their budgets? What are we going to do about it? There's been all this pressure on the defense budget, you know, have them increase the percentage of money they spend in the defense budget. I would focus on them getting them with us operationally in the Middle East to bring down the civil wars and to take away territory from ISIS. That's where I would be pushing.